talk to you about the database in two parts. First, the world of suicide terrorism around the world from 1980 to 2003. Think about that as suicide um, uh, terrorism before the Iraq War. And then from 2004 on, think about that as the world of suicide terrorism after the Iraq War. Well, from 1980 to 2003, there were 343 completed suicide terrorist attacks defined in the classic sense you would expect when I use that term of an individual killing himself, himself, or herself, herself on a mission to kill others. That's what we're tracking. That's classic definition. The world leader during this period is not, and I want to score, not an Islamic group. They're the Tamil Tigers in Sri Lanka, a Marxist group, a secular group, a Hindu group. The Tamils in Sri Lanka did more suicide attacks than Hamas or Islamic Jihad. Further, at least a third of all Muslim suicide attacks are by purely secular groups such as the PKK in Turkey, which is another Marxist, read, anti-religious suicide terrorist group. Notice over 50% are not associated with Islamic fundamentalism. Now think about that for a moment. What do most people think is driving suicide terrorism? Religion. Any older religion? No. <laughs> Islamic fundamentalism. It doesn't hold up, ladies and gentlemen. It simply doesn't hold up. The facts don't fit. 